Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today on the Day by Day Farm, we are still getting our farm ready for summer. We are also taking our horses for a walk. This day we'll be taking our big horses for a walk. Attack me today. You got two pockets full of apples? Yeah. In her Equizen vest. Rock in her Equizen vest. I need another one now. Your cute hair. You'd be looking so cute again. I didn't even brush it today. Oh. I have apples for the horses. Carrots. I have carrots for the horses. Literally, my mind goes a mile a minute and I never can concentrate what I'm talking on. So, I have questions for you guys. One, Gabby says that the boys don't have to wear their special boots on the road unless somebody's riding them. If they're just going for a walk, they aren't, it's not necessary. I feel like any kind of rougher terrain is gonna wear down their shoe. I don't know what's right. Comment below what you think. We're not um, things boots on. You should know that the road is not pavement. It's just like a dirt kind of road. Hi, girly. They have not had an apple in like a really long time. They have not had an apple in a really long time. Watch out, here water? comes Meanie. Gracie likes apples. Oh, Willow likes apples too. And now we're surrounded. Now we're surrounded by horse mouths. Like we're blocked in here. Willow, back it up, sister. Back it up. Don't, don't follow me. I like how she talks though. I think she thinks that you guys are candy yeah. treats. Good girl. No more, because I need to rest. Yeah, no more for her. Okay, so. People keep asking me, Laura, are you putting the ponies in the big field? And I want to put the ponies in the big field. I'm worried about Willow though. Like, uh, Gracie not so much, even though Gracie is kind of a pig. Willow is kind of a pig too. But I'm worried because little horses are more at risk for founder. And it's still, she did live most of her life on grass, or she has lived on grass, hundred like all, all the time, 100% turnout. And she was fine. But here's the thing. Every once in a while, Willow will lean forward and stretch in a way and just stand there for a few seconds. Every and horse stretches. I know, and it's not very often. And like a few months ago, she did it more often. And now she doesn't do it hardly at all. But I worry, like I'd be watching all the time for well, all the signs of issues. Let's put them in there for just like a couple hours. Yeah, so 100%. I think we will either make their paddock bigger, which is we're, we're gonna do today. No, like, um, so put them- Or we're gonna put them in there like for a limited time, just a little tiny bit of grass, but we're, we have to see, like, I wanna make sure that our willow girl is okay and safe. Like, I should also comment and tell you guys that I overreact to every single thing. I over-exaggerate every thing, single thing. So like, literally like twice, she's leaned and stretched one time a little bit longer than I thought she would and then she stopped and then another and then like five minutes later she stretched again like that and that's all it was and then oh gosh, we have to stretch yeah like so but I just be nervous you guys Will so don't take anything I say to heart she wants a kiss because I'm just over exaggerating and watching every single thing like I just want to be safe I want to know before it happens instead of like I want to be proactive instead of reactive and have to be dealing with an issue if that makes sense So today on our walk my plan is to take the head cam the GoPro Woo. My plan is to take the GoPro. I gotta go out and get it. I forgot about it And so I can get more footage because I always miss all the good stuff because I need two hands when good stuff happens I'm also going to get the Gabby who has not showed up yet. She's late. She's late She's eating Guys. Once you turn 13, you're never on time for anything anymore. So I almost, I always, like every single time I walk up and down, I always almost fall. And that's because in the muddiest areas, my feet slip and when I go down. You talk just like me, muddest. I got my camera now. This is what it's gonna look like when we go walking. Maybe I should put it up higher. There Mom's we go. Chest. I know, it's a chest cam, but I just want to make sure that it's good. We're still waiting for Gabby. We can't go anywhere or do anything. Apples. Because 
we want to make sure slow yeah and we want to make sure like i don't know if she's running she might ride because you know she'd be brave and so <laughs> i are not brave we're not brave I can't ride. Finn won't yeah we're gonna she's gonna see that finn's good today so she's gonna walk finny i'm gonna walk stormy because i need to build a bond with storm for any of you guys who are asking like why isn't gabby doing as much with storm because he needs to move on a little bit and be with all the rest of us too it can't just be him so chino, she also no. needs to bond with chino still like that's still a big huge thing in progress so guys, we're just working on it guys just one day at a time she called chino fino <laughs> all right are you riding or are we just walking riding. all right we'll get your boy in here and let's get going we go. too high. It's supposed to go under your boots i know but i want to like get a higher version like i want to see you guys if it's down low i'm going to see you from this the waist down it up there i know i'll fix she that she gotta put that like that Mm -hmm. So the reason that I don't want to bring the horses in here and go for our walk from in here is because our horses hate the mud and Storm always like pushes me and tries to make me walk like further into the poop pile so he can walk on the poop pile so he misses the mud. Yeah, he, our horses are so he spoiled. He climbs the poop he pile. He climbs the poop Just pile. To walk. Just so he doesn't have to go in the mud. Like it's insane. Hi. What's easier, riding a bike or a horse? Horse. When everyone folds your forge to holes, your place in your bed, showing no regret. Close your eyes to hide your lies, roll the dice. All right, I'm checking on Gabby. She's one quarter of the way done. Anyways, while we're waiting, because Sophie and I are ready, I picked both of the horses. Feet, they both had huge rocks in their feet. We have to pick their feet as soon as we're done. The trail, that makes me so sad. Anyways, I'm gonna go poop pick their field currently while we wait for Gabby, because this ride, it could be forever. I also realized that the ride yesterday, or our walk yesterday, was largely happy because it was so warm. Today it's actually colder, windier. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invincible fence letting everyone know that you When I use my witchcraft You're playing it cool Bending all the rules I literally can't film anything when I have Crazy Boy Nickname Crazy Boy Because he He's a loose cannon This horse is a loose cannon Regret Close your eyes to hide your lies Roll the dice you got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass Got an invincible fence letting everyone know that you trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your boots When I use my witchcraft You're okay. Storm heard it too. Hey, Storm. You're not pay attention to me. Look. Storm, Storm, look, there's a car. Storm, look. Slow, slow, slow. Jesus. Thank you. Oh God. Here we go. You're supposed to slow down for horses. So if you didn't catch it, I asked that guy to slow down nicely with my hand, like slow down. And then he stopped, came back. I don't know what he was going to say to me, but then I just said, you're supposed to slow down for horses because it's the law. <laughs> like we're just doing our best out here to make everybody safe. And it's illegal to not make the right of way for horses. Like. It's illegal, so yeah. Do the law, you guys. I like walking on this side better. Oh boy. Your horses need to learn to walk on both sides. I'm bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. You're playing it cool, bending all the rules, talking with. 
way too loud and you're talking rude you're playing a game driving me insane your heart is back and it's a fact no turning back have you been giving Cindy treats good boy look at this boy he's doing it I'm on the wrong side but I like it better and then there's Gabby way up there leading the pack raccoon. Yes, you smell it. It's okay. It's okay. Chino doesn't want to go back. Oh, I love it. Yeah, he's so good. We'll take him longer the next time because the next time we get to the cows. Okay? Yeah, so we'll take them out again. And go past the cows next time. I just want these guys to end on a good raw, on a good walk, cause Stormy be good now. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. Well, go faster! Oh my god! Gabby is once again running from the bees. This time on horseback. Faster getaway. That was so good. ride day by day farm such a good boy I'm letting Storm have some grass because he deserved it you deserved it such a good boy that was the best walk I've ever had with him I know it was beautiful that's how I was with him yesterday wasn't he so good other than he gobbles your hand when he gets treats yeah but did the treats help take his mind off of everything else and kind of make him calm down same with Storm yeah, that's why we're going to do a couple more walks, go further and further, see the cows, and then once they're ready, we'll be ready. Okay? Do you know how I know that that was a successful trail? Because Storm noticed me. Storm noticed me and was looking at me and was acknowledging all the good things I was doing. We think we're training them. Really, they're training us. Good ride, Chino man. You are such a good boy. He's kind of like Stella. Yeah, he is. He walks slower on the way back. Yeah, he. Gabby said he did not want to go home. So Sophie and I used treats. <laughs> I'm tired. We used treats. We gave them the treats every like once in a while, kind of thing. Um, um, it made a massive difference. Like they were focused on us. Storm was huffing and puffing. It's pretty amazing that I can turn this hose on and water the horses down in the back. Super good. Hi, ponies. That was phenomenal though. Sophie had a really positive ride. I had a really positive ride, even though I was walking. Um, Storm was huffing and puffing and snorting and looking everywhere. He was like, this is scary, this is scary. And then once I started introducing like treats every time he was good, every time he wasn't, you know, paying attention to all the bad stuff, he just got relaxed. And then when a car came, we had to get to the shoulder. And I let him eat the grass there for a few minutes. And he was like, yeah, this is nothing. One thing you guys might not know is that before we bought Storm, he was ridden on the road all the time. His owner used to ride him to work. And then he had, like, she had a little stable behind her job. And he stayed there all day. And then she rode him home in the summertime. And in the springtime, that's huge. So he should get back into it. But the thing that needs to happen is for me, like I need to get confident. Sophie needs to get confident. So my goal is to walk again. And like today was windy and howling when I turned my head. It was super spooky. 
And Gabby left her water jog bottle in here and Willow's loving it. My goal is to um, go again, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe the next day, depending on um, which day is nicer. Like I want to take the ponies again too, just cause they need to get out. Like the ground is still really wet. We're early days in spring right now. So um, I want to take the ponies again, but I want to take the boys and walk them all the way past the cows. So we stopped just before we got to the cows. I could hear the cows. I was a little nervous for, I didn't want to ruin Sophie and my confidence by taking our horses that were having a great walk past the cows and ruin it. I wanted it to just be a really good ride, walk and then the next day we'll, I'm like so comfortable on the ground, you guys. It's just when I get in the saddle that I suck at, at trails. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's coming up soon. Hope you guys aren't getting bored of watching us walk down the road. <laughs> soon we'll advance to actual nature trails. That is coming soon. But I think we need to do this, this little bit of work for me and Sophie to get us used to it, to get our horses feeling comfortable with us. And I think we have to do it before we can go there. And that's the goal. Finn was very good when he would just get antsy and stuff and scared. I'll just feed him a piece of apple and then he would be good. So I never gave him an apple when he got scared. I waited till he wasn't scared to give an apple. So I didn't want to give him an apple saying, or a treat saying like, yay, you're scared, have a treat. So then he'll fake being, being scared. Gabby be working on Chino's tail. Yeah, he pooped against Finn the wall. Him well. Yeah, you are a wall pooper too. He does like to put his butt up against things. Good boy, Chino man, this horse. Gabby's starting to really get there with him now, like starting to take pride of ownership, starting to like condition his tail. Let's go start with the bird side. All right, you want to go start? No, Gabby, are you okay start to play? There? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to get rid of those and then we're done for the day. Let's try. And it's a fact, no turning back. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a blast. Got an invisible fence letting everyone know. When I use my witchcraft When I use my witchcraft Come on! You got me tiptoeing around you like you made of glass Got an invincible fence to trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right, So what's crazy is that all these bricks used to be, I think, maybe not, but a lot of them used to be in our mare field and now, and we threw them all here, so now we got to get rid of these. I didn't throw them all here. When I use my witchcraft. Trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. When I use my witchcraft, I got my moves, I got my song. When I turn my mojo on, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. It won't take long when I use my witchcraft. been working so hard. Carrying those bricks was so hard. We promised the girls if we could get the job done, we would go get them a drink from Tim Hortons. We did not get the job done. We got it three quarters of the way done, but it is hard, you guys. Every single day, little by little. But I'm excited though that it's like nice out and we're all stuck at home. Otherwise, we'd be running the roads right now and not working on our farm. Not working on getting our horses to be comfortable outside on trails and stuff and on roads. 
definitely grateful for COVID-19. Even though it's a horrible thing, there are some good things that could come from it. Not to trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots.